נועה סימון, ארם גרשוני, דוד ניפו, שלום, ואת מזל טוב. We are sitting here at התחנה, גלרי, סלאש סקול פור פיקורטיב פיינטינג אנד דרואינג, בגלל שזה יום מאוד פסטיב, לא רק שאתה מתחילים את הנאום גלרי בתל אביב, but you are also presenting the works of your students. And we have one, one of them here with us, Noah. Noah, how was school? Or in other words, how did they treat you? Uh, it was a very unique experience. Two years of uh, classes and uh, painting. Uh, as opposed to studying in an art academy. I'm a graduate of Bezalel Art Academy. In Jerusalem? In Jerusalem. And we are very eager to see your uh, paintings, and we'll do it in a minute. But in your permission, we will switch to Aram. Aram, you are one of the teachers in this uh, school. How was the experience for you? Um, this is the... Um, well, the school exists for quite a long time. So it's, this year was like any other year. How many so years, how many years the, now? The, the day class, the master class is in its... Um, this has been the fifth, fifth year. Ah, okay. Five years now. And we move on to the sixth year. So, yeah, it's been a lot of work. How many students? Uh, this year there have been something like uh, 18, I think. 18? 18. 18. 18. And they are all Tel Avivians or they come from all over? Uh, all over. Ah, we have a Jerusalemite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now it's time to switch to David. David, uh, I think it's very encouraging to notice that there are still artists who believe in figurative painting and drawing. Because normally, when you go to museums, it's, sometimes it, it seems like a lost battle with all the modern paintings. Yeah, well, uh, things change <laughs> sometimes, usually, well, uh, history is evolved looking backwards. There were some incidents where history pretended not having to look backwards and it looked only forward. And uh, forward there's a big void. And then in order to, to, uh, to evolve, you should look backwards. There are some very significant uh, secrets and knowledge back there. And, uh, How long do you go back to Renaissance? Uh, if it's necessary. <laughs> and even, even, even uh, earlier than that. You know, we are part of mankind and mankind happened a long time ago. <laughs> Now, you have, correct me if I'm wrong, a special uh, story with you, because you came to Israel from Brazil. Yeah. And uh, when you teach, what do you bring from Brazil uh, to your students, and what do you bring from Israel? It's hard to say what do I bring from Brazil, and maybe even harder to say <laughs> what do I bring from Israel. I mean, Brazil happened a long time ago. I came to Israel when I was five years old. Ah, okay. And uh, Israel is not one of the things I look backwards to learn art. It's, uh, it is one of the things I look backwards to learn culture. And Jewish culture is a very rich culture, a very old one. And uh, one of the things that happened in progress is assimilation and synergy 
and, uh, and fusion and fusion and confusion and confusion yeah the way we like it uh-huh. Aram uh, the name Gershuni is uh, quite a name in Israeli art is it? yes okay. Cor- correct me if I'm wrong no. correct me if I'm wrong I guess you're right so for you uh, it was quite uh, understood that this is the path you will take Not, not when I was very young, but uh, this is in the sixth century, but uh, after a while, it was. Okay, and switching back to Noah. Noah, what can we wish a young and talented artist in Israel today? Uh, not to give up, I think. I think the hardest thing to learn that I learned during these two years is to be stubborn. I think it's the most important thing to learn as a young painter. In general, I'm in Israel. Not to give up, not only when other people tell you to stop, but when you tell yourself that you're never going to paint again. Sounds very Israeli to me. I want to thank all of you and to wish Atachana uh, all the success in the world. Thank you. Thank you.